of classes today at the Ohio State University after a man drove his car into a group of people. Then he got out of that car and began to stab all of those people. At least nine were injured. A police officer killed the suspect, who authorities say is an 18-year-old of Somali descent. As Brooke Silva Braga reports, authorities are looking for a possible link to terrorism. It's still a very active situation. Police swarmed the campus of Ohio State University in Columbus as word got out of an attack at Watts Hall, which houses the Department of Materials Science and Engineering. First reported as a shooting, police say a more complex picture of the attack has now emerged. A male suspect drove a vehicle over the curb, west 19th, west of College Avenue, struck pedestrians. He exited the vehicle and used a butcher knife to start cutting pedestrians. Our officers was on scene in less than a minute, and he ended this situation less than a minute. Authorities say 10 people were quickly transported to hospitals. There were multiple injuries uh, related to lacerations or cuts, most likely, as Chief said, from the, the stab wounds from the butcher knife. Then there were a number of people that had orthopedic and other soft tissue injuries related to being hit by the car. The suspect was shot dead by police, checking out reports of a gas leak at that location. State, local, and federal officials are working intensively with university personnel to learn more about the suspect and a motive. Terrorism has not been ruled out. We'll continue to work with your students, our faculty, and staff to make this the safest place that we can make it. School and law enforcement officials agree that the quick actions of first responders may have saved many lives. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News. Oh, well, the campus was on lockdown. Students and teachers had to shelter in place. One student tweeting this picture of chairs piled up blocking a door.